four tips for optimizing and improving your Google shopping campaign. Hi, my name's Alana from teachtraffic.com, recording a video for measureschool.com. And I'm gonna cover four ways that you can improve your Google shopping campaign and make sure you stay through to the end of the video because I also throw in a bonus tip as well. Let's go dive into my account and get stuck in right away. So here we are in a live Google ad account. And as mentioned, I'm gonna walk you through tips that you can do to optimize your Google shopping campaign. It's worth mentioning, there's two ways that you can run shopping campaigns. The first are standard shopping campaigns, which are more work for you as an advertiser, but you're rewarded with more control and therefore you can control your wasted ad spend. And that's what I'm gonna be using as my example in this video is a standard shopping campaign. The other type of shopping campaign you can run are called performance max campaigns, which are Google's automated campaigns that put your shopping ads pretty much across the Google ecosystem. And you have very limited control with that campaign and you can't add negative keywords, etc. That's beyond the scope of this video. If you want, I can create a video on Performance Max, just comment below. But as mentioned in this video, we're gonna talk all about standard shopping campaigns. The example business is this brand called Legendary Aussie, which sell beard kits, beard oil, aftershave, cologne, etc. Okay, so as you can imagine, when somebody goes to Google and types in beard oil, this particular advertiser would like their product to show up in the shopping ad results, which are here. Shopping ads show up usually above the text ads. Sometimes they're on the far right here and they are also above the organic results. Okay, so somebody types in beard oil and they would obviously like their ad to show up here. Most people aren't aware actually that you can scroll across in the shopping results here. So as you can imagine that the products which are sort of on the far right over here get a much lower click through rate and a much lower conversion rate. Actually, here's the business here than products which people don't have to scroll across for. So later on in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control your bids for certain terms. But the first tip I'm going to show you is by preventing your ad showing up for what you don't want. So for example, if somebody types in free beard oil, obviously you wouldn't wanna show for that term. And these advertisers have made a mistake by not adding free as a negative keyword, okay? So how you add negative keywords, if you go into one of your campaigns, you go into the ad group, you click on the ad group and you go to the keyword section, it will default to the negative keyword section and you can add in all your negative keywords here. So we simply click the plus button and we can add the negative keywords in here. Just cancel that for a sec. Or you can also use a negative keyword list I much prefer using negative keyword lists, especially when I have multiple shopping campaigns, because that means I can just add, for example, the term free as a negative keyword and know that that list has then been applied to all my shopping campaigns. And this will save me having to add the term free as a negative keyword individually to all the separate campaigns. Okay, so that is the first step in optimizing your shopping campaign. The second tip that I have for shopping campaigns is to create product themed campaigns. So for example, this particular theme of this campaign is just for beard oil. And this kind of relates to my first tip of adding negative keywords. If I were to add all my products into one campaign, the problem with doing that would mean that the negative keywords that are applied at that campaign level apply to all the products. And I might not want that. So I create, and I think of it like a category theme. So I've got beard oil as a category and I might have accessories as a different category. So you create category themed shopping campaigns so that you can really ensure that the negative keywords that are applied are relevant to the particular products that are shown, okay? The third tip that I have is to possibly bid differently for different products in your campaign. So remember I said that the shopping ads that show up on the far left here are outbidding the products that are on the further right across. So you might have a bestseller product that you want to make sure is on the far left. So you can, if I go into one of these campaigns, you can change your bids for your different products that are loaded into that campaign. So that is the third tip that I have. If you remember at the start of the video, I said that we can control our bids as per the term that people type into Google. 
And to do this, we need to implement a two-tier shopping structure. So a two-tier shopping structure is structured in this way, where there are two shopping campaigns, each with the same products loaded into them. The difference in the two campaigns is that one is a high priority campaign, which bids low, and the other shopping campaign is a low priority campaign, which bids high. But what is added into this first campaign of the high priority and bid low are the best search terms or best converting terms that we add as a negative keyword to this campaign. So shopping campaigns have this concept of priority, which is our way of saying to Google, this one is a higher priority. So we bid low for this because you know we're experimenting in finding converting search terms. But once we find a term that converts well, beard oil, okay, we add it as a negative keyword beard oil to this campaign to force Google to show the product in this campaign where we are bidding high. And the results for that are such that we get a higher click-through rate. So 0.25 compared to point time, we get a higher click-through rate and we also get a higher conversion rate. So for that first strategy, it converts at 4% versus our other campaign, which has the lower priority, but bidding higher only for the terms that we want, we can get a much higher conversion rate as well as ROAS. All right. So this two-tier method definitely works really well. Once you know your best converting search terms, you add those best converting search terms as a negative keyword to this high priority and bid low to force Google to bid high for those terms in this campaign. Okay. So that is the fourth tip that I have for your shopping campaign. And the last bonus tip is to possibly experiment with target ROAS bidding. And obviously you would apply different ROAD bid strategies if you were to implement this two tier strategy. So there you have it. There are tips for Google shopping campaign. If you've got a question, just comment below and thanks for watching. All right, thanks Ilana for this great information. If this video helped you out, then please hit that like button so we can share it more to other people. And if you wanna find out more about AdWords tracking analytics, then check out this playlist right over there. And from everybody here at Measure School, happy measuring.